G'day everyone, welcome again to um, our channel. Thanks for watching us. Um, we. What's up, everybody? Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're loving our videos, there's heaps more to come because I'm just so excited about the, the review I'm about to do because I can't even get the intro right. So, like, subscribe, and we will see you soon. <laughs> Sorry? Say what you say again. Luke sucks at this, so I'm just gonna do for you. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another artistic video. I'm Ryan, and it's so great to have all you passionate coffee people back here with us. We hope you're enjoying our videos, and if you do like our videos, make sure you leave a comment below, subscribe, hit the bell button, and uh, stay tuned for plenty more. Today, we are looking at the Linear Mini. Let's get into it. <laughs> So yesterday in the roastery, it just wasn't working for us. So we're going to try it again. The Linear Mini from Lamazocco is an amazing machine. It's got beautiful Italian heritage. Um, it's styled so nicely and it looks amazing in any kitchen. Aside from that, it is actually a beautifully uh, constructed machine and its features are amazing. It's definitely one of the high-end machines that you should desire to have at home. It's the machine I have at home and I love making coffee on it every day. So I want to show you just how great that coffee can be. Classic, which is a machine you're going to see all over the world in cafes. It's such an icon that it's amazing that they've been able to reproduce that for your home. You can customize this machine a lot. It comes in a range of colors, white, black, yellow, and red. Or if you look online, there's some really cool things where you can change all of your knobs and handles to timber or change the paneling. It's a machine you can really personalize. So what's packed inside this machine? There is a really nice boiler. In the back, you've got a three litre steam boiler. That is a huge amount of steam and hot water for you to have on tap, ready for your teas and pumping out heaps of amazing milk. The front of the unit has an independent boiler, so it is a double boiler unit. And that is actually controlled with a digital PID controller, so you can change that temperature of the brew head. That's easily done from a little dial on the side here. It can be a little finicky just to have a bit of a play with it. It'd be great if it was a digital um, display. The cool thing, because it is such a small front head boiler, about 170 mil, you can flush that out really easily, allowing you to change that temperature very quickly. So if you've got a light roast coffee, you can dial it down, you can purge through a very small amount of water, and it's gonna be set at that nice low temperature for you. If you then turn the dial back up, and you're gonna get a hotter brew temperature, something like 94, 95 degrees, it's gonna recover super quick. And then you're gonna be able to do that heavier style extraction with a darker roast with your espresso. Now that is simply activated by the paddle. It's an on and off. Now that is not a variable pressure. It is simply an on and off switch. But the cool thing about it is when you do turn it on, you will actually get a non-pumped pre-infusion of about a second. And when you actually activate this, you've got some barista lights. So it will give you that focused light on your espresso first thing in the morning when it's dark outside. It's a really cool feature that you don't see in many home machines. You've got plenty of hot water for your teas. It really does pump out a lot of water. And you've got a huge amount of steam on the other side. I love this steamer, it does beautiful milk. It's one of my favorite steams on all of the machines. I do use a commercial machine every day and I just find this to be a much drier, beautiful um, design for 
me to make perfect silky milk. You do have full articulation on the steam wand, which is great. It allows you plenty of access if you want to froth on the side and tilt your jug, or just straight on. And if you are using a commercial machine day in, day out, it's very easy to come back and make the same milk. There are a couple of gauges which tell you what's happening with the machine. On the left here, you've got your steam. So it's above 1.5, at 1.6, which is a huge amount of steam. On your right hand side, you've got your pump pressure. It is a rotary pump, so that's going to give you that full nine bar of pressure, just pushing through that coffee, giving you a beautiful espresso. When you're heating the unit up, it is going to have a flashing red light. Once it's up to temperature, that's ready to go. Your blue light is telling you whether you've got water or not. So if it's flashing at you, you do need to refill your water tank underneath. You can buy in Australia an extra plumbing kit. I plumb mine at home, which allows me to put a filter in, which will care for your machine. If not, once it does run out of water, it's going to flash at you and it's not going to wreck your machine. That water tank is a three litre tank. So it's plenty of water for you to make lots of coffees when your friends come around. And it is really easy to fill it up again. That water tank is actually hidden underneath the drip tray. And this drip tray is huge. In some machines, the drip trays are tiny. You can fill this thing up on a couple of days and not even have to worry about it. I'll just show you how easy it is to get to that water tank. When you're taking the drip tray off, it's got a really cool magnet attachment system. So some of the drip trays and coffee machines can vibrate. This is a little bit firm to take off. It allows access now to the water. When you slide it forward, you can see that the light is showing that it doesn't have water anymore. You can fill it up nice and easily. You can remove this top case if you want to take it out and wash it in your sink. Pop it all back together, slide it in, and then the light goes off. And that's all you have to do. Your drip tray just sits in nicely. And you're ready to go again. Just a little tip. On the drip tray there is a square that's cut out. It is designed to go under your hot water tap. So when you do pour out the hot water, it doesn't hit the gauze section and splash up on you. So just make sure you get it around the right way. The attention to detail from the Italians is amazing. On the handle, you've got their nice and signatory. They've also embedded it on the shower screen underneath. That's pretty cool. So let's make a copy on the Lamazocco Mini. Lamazocco is very generous with their offerings. You get a double handle, single handle, a couple different baskets and all the other goodies to clean your machine. You get jugs and tampers. It's a great little kit. So today I'm just going to use the larger basket and we're going to use 22 and a half grams of coffee. Just to distribute that a little bit. We're using an OCD to help distribute that coffee nicely. And a nice flat, even tamp. I do really like how you get the stainless steel handle. It's got the little rest there, so you can put it on the edge of your bench. It's easy to tamp. Let's go. That is a beautiful coffee. So the Mini is at the higher end for a home machine. If it's out of your budget, check out our review on the Isomac T-Duo, which is an amazing machine. Thanks guys, have an awesome day. Enjoy your coffee.